Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, here with you today on a Minecraft survival world. And things are not going so well. I'm down to one heart, and even though I do have a cooked pork chop here, it is not going to be enough in order to fill up my stomach. It's not going to give me enough hunger to be rehealing once again. I don't see any other animals around. Man, I really long for the days of Minecraft beta when food healed your health directly. Maybe if we all wish that this were Minecraft beta, I'll be able to heal my health back with this hork chop. And hooray! Look at that! I managed to get four hearts back directly and I didn't have to fill up my stomach. <laughs> and yeah, what I've done here is I've actually re-implemented the beta food system. And so, for example, I can eat a piece of bread and my hearts will go from five to seven and a half because bread heals two and a half hearts. Uh, back in the old beta food system, a cookie healed a half a heart. And so I can eat one of those, and that'll give me back a half a heart. And you'll see all kinds of weird things happening down here in the bottom right with my food saturation bar, my little meat shanks or whatever. Um, but yeah, the way that I made this work, of course, is with command blocks and redstone. There's some crazy stuff going on up there. And I'll talk about that in a little bit more detail in just a little bit. But let me go ahead and show you how you could do this in your own world if you want to play with the old food system in a new Minecraft game. To re-experience the finger-licking good old food system of Minecraft beta, you'll need to use one of the recent Minecraft snapshots. I'm in 14 week 10b, so you need something like that or later. We're going to go to single player, create a new world, in creative mode. And that's because, like all of my recent inventions, this one fits into a single command block. And so we create a new world that we can play some survival Minecraft in. But to start ourselves off, we will say give at p command underscore block in order to give ourselves a command block. Make sure that there's some airspace directly above us as we set this down near spawn. Right click on the command block to interact with it and paste in a giant command. This command will be available in the description of this video. And so you can get the command there that you're going to paste in. Grab a redstone block. I will activate it and break the redstone, and this will start doing some things. And meanwhile, while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and grab a few different foods, the foods that were available from the olden days of Minecraft. These are the foods that I have implemented. There are eight of them. And then I'm also going to switch my game mode back to zero, back to survival. And I am going to hit myself with a few instant damage effects just to get my hearts down to one heart. Uh, but basically, this thing is building a whole bunch of redstone up in the sky. And once it's done, the command blocks disappear. Uh, but the redstone contraption that's running all of this is still up there. Nostalgic Food System by Lorgon111. If the text is disappearing, you can always hit T to bring up the chat. Uh, you can click on this if you want to go visit my YouTube page. Your food bar is automatically kept at a medium level. Beta foods heal health directly. And so that is basically what we've seen. And so my food bar down here on the bottom right, the saturation level, uh, always stays between somewhere between like four and six or something. If you try to get above or below that, uh, then it will kind of go and reset itself. But for example, mushroom stew was a really great food back in beta. It healed four and a half hearts. And so if I eat one of those, you'll see four and a half hearts come back to my player. Um, let's see, raw fish, I believe, healed one heart. And so if I eat that, I should get back one heart of health. Whereas cooked fish were two and a half. I was going by memory to uh, put down all of the particular food healing values, and so hopefully I got these correct. Um, apples healed two hearts, raw pork chops are one and a half. We already saw pork chops are four. And I think these are all the foods that were available in beta Minecraft, except for cake. Cake is kind of different from all the other food items and that it's actual block in the world. And I couldn't figure out how to make that one work. But uh, yeah, that's all you have to do. Set down the command block and activate it and then put yourself back in game mode zero and you can play survival Minecraft. And other than the fact that food stacks and still like takes some time with kind of an eating animation in order to eat it, Apart from that, basically, you can play with the old food system, so you needed different new pieces of food in order to heal. This only works with the old foods, and so, for example, if I got new foods, if I got zombie flesh or I got steak from a cow or something like that, it is not going to have any effect on your health, uh, and it will affect your saturation, but effects on your saturation don't really matter, because if I try to fill my... 
stomach up all the way. Very quickly, the redstone and command blocks that are happening up there are going to bring my saturation, my food bars, somewhere down in between four and six food bars. So as a result, you're always able to sprint around, uh, because sprinting is fun in Minecraft, uh, but you're not going to heal up as a result of your food. And indeed, I'm actually in no natural regeneration mode, the kind of ultra hardcore mode. Uh, that's another thing that command blocks do when you set up this world. Uh, and so you're never going to heal just from having a full stomach. You're only going to heal from actually consuming one of these particular foods. So how does this work? I'm so glad you asked. Let me go ahead and show off the redstone that's going on up here. So I'm going to teleport up here and we can take a closer look. Basically, we have a hopper timer that every so often, about every second or so, is going to run a clock over here that's going to do a few things. One, we're going to activate a bunch of command blocks that test for the player's food level, food level 0, 1, 2, all the way up to food level 7. Each food level counts as half of a meat shank on your food bar. And so if you're anywhere between 0 and 7, then I'm going to give the player effect 23, which is saturation, which will help fill your food bar. And on the other hand, if your food level is 20 or 19 or anywhere down to 13, we'll test for that as well. And so if you have a food bar that's pretty well filled up, instead we'll give you hunger, which will reduce your food bar. And so this whole half is basically a bunch of command blocks that are just trying to keep your food bar somewhere right in the middle so that we can do what we really want to do, which is work on the individual foods themselves. In the latest snapshot, you can detect when a player has eaten a particular piece of food via the scoreboard. One of the commands the original command block used was similar to what's pictured here. Scoreboard objectives add b stat.useitem.minecraft.bread. And basically that creates a scoreboard objective named b that detects when we use a piece of bread. And stat.useitem, these achievements and statistics were added to the scoreboard system a while ago, but didn't actually work for food items until I think they just fixed the bug actually in the most recent snapshot. And so this is a bug that had been vexing me for quite a while, and so I'm glad that it finally got fixed because I'd had this idea for a long time, but hadn't been able to use it until now. But basically with that scoreboard objective set up, then we can test if a player's score in the objective named B for bread is at least one, and if it is, then what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to give him a couple of potion effects. This is instant health, which will give me two hearts. And this is regen, that'll give me a half a heart. And so the combination of those two will give me two and a half hearts. And then I do something to reset the command block over here. And furthermore, I then reset the player's score in the scoreboard so that my scores go back to zero. And so that one checks for bread, and for example, this one checks for a cooked pork chop, and I name the scoreboard objective C, and if we eat a cooked pork chop, then I will do instant health 2, which heals me for 4 hearts, etc. And so basically there's just a bunch of tests for the different food items, the 8 different food items that were in Minecraft beta, and then each of them has some corresponding potion effects that get applied to the player in order to give the player's health back. I think that recreating the beta food system was an interesting invention all by itself, but the fact that I managed to spawn all of this from a single command block to some of you may seem to be a feat of legendary proportions. Uh, but in fact, it's kind of old hat for me at this point. I've made a number of other single command block inventions lately, and so if you'd like to check those out, there's a playlist linked in the description of this video where I have other command block inventions, as well as some redstone tutorials, as well as tutorials about how to use the Minecraft scoreboard system. So if you're interested in any of those things, definitely check out the playlist. And you can also subscribe to my channel for more content. In addition to this type of stuff, I also do vanilla survival let's plays, as well as playing some other games other than Minecraft. In any case, I hope that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.